I feel like every time I do a sit down video, I sit here and I'm like, I haven't done a sit down video in a while. So I'm not gonna say that, even though it's killing me not to say that. I've been thinking about like things that I didn't grow up with, right? Or opportunities that I didn't grow up with. And it made me realize that more people need to do this one thing in life. And I think it helps you build your happiness. It helps you see more experiences. It helps you expand your horizon. And that one thing is travel. I know in order to travel to places you really want to go to, you got to have funds. You got to have the means to do so. So I'm not saying go out here and max your credit card out or, you know, take out loans just to travel. But if you have it, travel. Because I realized early on in my 30s, right? I've been able to travel more even later in my 20s. That's when I've really started to go on more trips, travel more and experience life. Through these traveling opportunities, being able to explore, being able to be around different cultures, try new foods, um, travel with people, make memories, it's really fulfilling. And it's really a part of my life that I don't take for granted. So see, I grew up less fortunate. I grew up in Sumter, South Carolina, and the furthest I would go is Myrtle Beach or Columbia, South Carolina. That's all I knew. Even once I got to college, right, my first trip and my first time being on an airplane was in college because my manager, when I was working at the student union, my manager, Ryan Gross, shout out to you, he told me about this conference called I Lead. He was like, we'll fund you to go there. It was in Edwardsville, Illinois. And that was my first time getting on a plane. And that was like junior year, I believe. I think, yeah, I think it was junior year of college. So that was my first time getting on a plane and really leaving the state on a plane. Like that is crazy. And some people get to do that early on in their life, but I was, I was late with it. But fast forward, like I said, in my 20s, I started to travel more. I started to go on trips. I started to take planes, I cruises because I wanted to experience more out of life. And I realized it makes me happy to see different environments, different cultures, try different foods, try different things. I think that's something that we need to do more of, even if it's just getting outside of your hometown, even if it's just getting outside of your state, driving four hours to cross the borders to go somewhere and try something new. So many of us come from backgrounds where the status quo and the norm is to stay put. The status quo and the norm is you were born here, you stay here. If you was born there, you leave, you come back. Or if you're born there, you don't see other people leaving. So it must be nothing else out there. But I'm here to tell you, it's a lot out there, guys. It is a lot out there and it's a lot for you to see. But that also brings me to this exciting opportunity that I'm glad that I have this opportunity and this opportunity is through Trover Trip. So Trover Trip reached out to me and was interested in me planning a group trip for people that support me, friends, family. And I had you all vote to like different places that we should go. And the top choices was Bali, Costa Rica, and shoot, what was the third option? In 2025, in June, we'll be going to Bali and you can come with me as well. So that's what I'm excited about because I know so many of you are kind of like me that didn't have the opportunity to travel outside the country or travel at all. And this is that opportunity, you know what I'm saying? This is that opportunity to go see something different. And this is my first time going to Bali and I would love to experience it with people like you. Of course, I have family, I have friends that's going too, and this is gonna be a great time. And like I said earlier, sometimes trips, it's expensive and things like that, and you kind of have to figure out how you're gonna pay. This trip in particular, you know, right now, still have the early rates going on. I think it's $14.89. So right now, if you wanted to go, you can book your spot and lock in that particular price. And also there's payment plans too. So you can sign up for a payment plan and pay on it monthly. And that way you can knock it all out. You have to just put down a deposit and you'll be good to go. Let me tell you some of the things that we will be doing on this trip. We'll be going to a sacred monkey forest, which is one of the things I've seen on TikTok when it came to Bali. People have been talking about those monkeys. They're very bold, but it seems like a cool experience where you could just walk around and just be free monkeys roaming around. You could pet them, you could feed them. We'll also be going to a market. So this market will be 
a way to kind of see the culture, shop a little bit, get some trinkets, some souvenirs. I know that y'all like really immerse yourself into Bali. And I think that's going to be a great time too. Cause y'all know I like, I like taking pictures. So I'm going to be out there snapping, you know what I'm saying? Get some street photography going, maybe blow something up, putting on a wall. Like I'm excited about that. We also will be going to a waterfall. The waterfall is called Canto Lampo Waterfall. I've seen videos on this too. And let me tell you, the waterfall is so beautiful and I, I need to look and see if they will let us have drones because if so, I'm going to bring the drone and I'm going to fly that thing on top of the waterfall and I'm going to be right there. It's going to be some, it's going to be dope. If you've never been to a waterfall, that would be a great opportunity to go. I've never been to a waterfall, so I'm excited about that. And one thing about me, y'all know I love peace, tranquility. I love just the be in my own zone so we will be attending a water purification ceremony it's supposed to be so peaceful opposed to calm your nerves it's supposed to give you like positive vibes like this is something that i'm really excited for because in the daily stresses of our lives right you need something to just bring you back down to peace. So that water purification ceremony is gonna be pretty cool. Can't wait for that. And we also gonna be going to a cooking class. Y'all know I don't be cooking like that. I cook sometime. I know how to, you know, shake and bake here and there. But this cooking class will be a cultural cooking class, which is gonna be really new for me. So I'm excited about that. So any of you all are going that like cooking or don't know how to cook, I think that'll be pretty dope. But that's just to name a few things. There's gonna be some more things going on, sunset cocktail. It'll be times for us to just get up, chop it up. And it's gonna be some time for you just be on your own, do your own thing, enjoy Bali on your own, whether it's at the resort. It's going to be a great time. I would encourage you if you're looking to travel, especially if you're looking to travel with a group, if you're looking to travel with me, I will leave the link in the description and go ahead, check it out and make sure that you go ahead and book your spot today because these spots, these early bird spots are gonna be going quick and then it's gonna go to the regular rate and you're gonna wish you had the early bird spot. So if you're interested, just go ahead, get the early bird spot and then that way you can just pay on it, lock in that rate. Also, you will have up to three months before the actual trip to pay it all off. And like I said, there are payment plans, so you don't have to pay everything all at front. You can payment plan, but I do want you to go, want you to be there. So please make sure you check out the link, book your spot today. It's gonna to be a great time. I'm trying to tell you, I'm excited. I'm so excited about going to Bali in the first place, seeing some of you all, being around friends and family, peace, tranquility. <sighs> I can't wait. But back to like traveling, right? Like even if you're not going on this wonderful Bali trip, Find a place to go to, guys. Find a place that you can just go, be peaceful, be free, get away from work, get away from the busy scaries of life, cut your phone off, cut the news off. You don't have to worry about what's going on with politics, what's going on with laws, what's like, just relax, because that's what's gonna keep you sane in this world, finding ways to relax and finding ways to disconnect. And I realized that for me, it is travel. Travel is my way to get away from my everyday norm, get away from everything that I'm doing and just go somewhere else and just vibe out. And that's one of the reasons why I love Phoenix. I don't know if y'all saw my Phoenix vlog, like I think it was last year. I enjoyed Phoenix so much. It was so peaceful. The resort I stayed at was great. The food was awesome. The shopping was awesome. That heat was heating though. That heat was heating. So I don't, 110 degrees, nah. But other than that, Phoenix was awesome and I'm looking forward to going back again, but that's a place that I feel like I can go yearly and be perfectly fine with. I don't know what it was about Phoenix. It was the sunsets, it was the sunrises, it was the, the desert or some of the mountains or it was just wonderful out there. It was clean. I, I just loved it. So I encourage you all to find a place that you can just go to as your happy place. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Phoenix is that for me. But when you travel, you start to realize that Life is short. You have to get out there and explore more. You have to get out there and see more. There's more to life than where you are right now. So if you never traveled, if you never took that leap, if you never traveled solo, if you never crossed your state border, if you never hopped on a plane yet, if you haven't been on a bus, if you haven't been on a train, just try it, man, and try something new. And I guarantee you, it will fuel you. It might fuel you to wanna travel more, but it also will fuel you to keep going. It will fuel you to feel peaceful 
and to witness more things, experience life. And that's the luxury of life, especially when you get to a place where you can travel with friends, you can travel by yourself, you can travel with your significant other. Like those experiences, those memories are things you cannot take for granted because everybody is not going to be on this earth forever. You're not, your friends not, your family not. And you got to take advantage of those moments. And I wish I had those experiences when I was younger. I wish I had those experiences early in my 20s. And I'm glad late in my 20s, early in my 30s, that I'm able to finally experience that. And I want you all to be able to experience that too, because I do think it's a hidden luxury. Now, this ain't no travel channel. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no travel channel, but I do incorporate travel into my life. And this is a lifestyle channel, self-development, productivity, you know, vlogs here and there, you know, sharing my everyday woes with you all. And I do want to encourage everyone to travel and get out there because there's so much to see, man. But if y'all want to see more sit down videos, go ahead and send me a topic and I will do a sit down video and I will speak on that topic. I will be going live soon. I will be going live on this channel to talk to you all, answer questions. Make sure you stay tuned for when I go live here on YouTube so I can talk to you all, answer questions, get to know you just like you're getting to know me. And this is a time for us to vibe out, chill, relax, chop it up. That's what we like to do around here. So. With all that being said, I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.